All right, we're going to talk about one arm rows. Great upper back exercise. Almost everyone who goes to a gym would do it. But again, technique takes priority. So let's have Charya, who's a triathlete, who's been training with us for over six months, just demonstrate this exercise. So first, let's talk about the position. The position is critical. So Charya is getting into this position. We want to have a nice wide base with the legs, a nice flat back Charya. So yeah, that's the perfect position. Arms dead straight. And we always like heels pasted to the floor. The reason is, if you have your heels pasted to the floor, when doing this exercise, you're going to have less wobbling, and you're going to have a stable core when doing this exercise. So Charya is in a perfect position, nice wide stance, flat back, no flexion, okay? And she's just going to uh, do a few reps for us. Okay. So when doing this exercise, you want to make sure the back of the dumbbell touches the hip or the rib cage. You want to be pulling with the elbow, not bicep. And you also want to make sure you get that end range of motion. So you want adduction and abduction at the shoulder at the end. So just a few more reps, Charya. Okay, good work. All right. All right, so when doing the three-point one-arm row, a very common mistake we encounter is people having their legs too close to the bench. So this happens very often. So Charya is just going to do a quick demo. They're very cr cramped up close to the bench, and they struggle to just maintain you know, good position by being so cramped up. So Charya, let's just do a few reps. They're very cramped up, struggle to get that uh, full extension of the arm, and it's a real struggle. So the very simple way to correct it is all you just got to do is push those legs back and get into the stable position, and then you're just good to go. All right, the second mistake we see people do is their feet are too close together when performing that one arm row. So again, they do not have that balance, that stability when performing this exercise. So let's see what we see quite often when doing the one arm row, right? So we see people having the feet too close together, and again, they struggle to have that, that what we say, that maintain that core stability. So Charya, just get your legs nice and wide, and if you think that's wide, you can even get it wider. So this is a perfect position. You're nice and stable when doing this exercise. The second mistake we see people having is they're on their toes. So Charya, you can just lift your toes. Again, you tend to wobble when doing this exercise. And again, you struggle to maintain that stability. Some people will struggle to get their heels to touch the floor based on their ankle mobility. But at least you should try to push your heels to the floor as much as possible. So Charya, feet onto the floor. And then we can just hammer a few reps. All right, so while talking one arm rows, the next issue, issue we encounter is some people do not have the core stability to perform a three point one arm row. So then we try to regress the exercise with D on the bench. This is also an exercise we use a lot with people who are having low back issues because they struggle to stabilize their core and then they tend to have a bit of wobbling in their lumbar spine, which can cause a bit of irritation. So Charya is going to just do a quick demo on how you would do it with knee on the bench. So again, very simply, knee on the bench, you get that leg nice and wide out there. You again, you want a nice flat spine, okay? And just go for it. Again, we want to pull with the elbow, not the bicep. And we want to make sure the dumbbell comes all the way down, and we pull it up again. A few more reps, Charya. Great technique. Good. OK, done. All right, so we're going to talk about some common errors when doing the one arm row with knee on the bench, right? Something very common that happens is people tend to sit back when doing this exercise rather than moving forward. So Charya, let's just show a few reps uh, with you sitting backwards. Okay, so they're too cramped up, the weight is back, they're not engaging their core enough and doing this exercise. So how we correct this exercise is Charya can just place the dumbbell down. We want to so just stay there, Charya, and we want to have a weight shift forward. So just move forward and you can see the transfer of weight, nice core stability, great core position to do the exercise. So let's do a couple of reps like that, Charya. So just when doing this exercise, again, remember, you want that weight shift forward, not backwards. Cool. 